Hello everyone and welcome back to another Transom, uh, Transom video, it has been uh, quite a while since the last one. Uh, but yes, we are at the Vienna Depot, obviously big thanks to Aerosoft for providing us a key for the DLC. Really looking forward to checking it out and I must admit this is my second time doing this. As the last time I went for a red light and uh, bad things happened, you know. So, <laughs> but anyway, off we go. So yeah, this is the Vienna Depot, obviously it is available on Steam uh, now if you want to buy it yourself. Which is uh, it's quite cool and obviously you get a bit of shunt here and a bit of extra to do. Uh, once you have finished your, you know, day of tramming around in Vienna, you can obviously go back to the depot, or you could start your time in the depot. Anyway, let's pop the key in, or do that. Uh, come into here. So I sort of know what I'm doing now, and the last one I spent far too long trying to work out what to do. Uh, get into the cockpit and start up the tram. So we need to pop that in. Uh, let's get our door shut. We don't really need it open. Yep, there we go. And we need to put the pantograph up. There you go, it's now up. And that's happy with us. And now what we do is we need to go to the other side and uh, do things. So last time, this is where I got a little bit stuck. Uh, but I think I know what I'm doing this time. Or did I accidentally put the... Oh no. No, no, we're all good, we're all good. Right, yeah, don't beep, it's beeping, it's beeping at us, go, go, go. So, what we want to do now is we want to go to the other end, and there's a little control panel. So here we go, obviously you can see all the trams here, the ultra low floor one, which is my favourite, the classic one, obviously the new one which we're in now. And this is where it gets interesting. So before, I wasn't holding this button down, that's what you have to do. Oh no, it's not actually on, is it? Oh god, this is not good. I mean, I've done, I've done something. Well, let's just give it a try anyway. Yeah, I've, I've not done something right here. Right, take that out. Right, back we go. So yeah, I had this before. I just kept running backwards and forth, trying, trying stuff out. It did sort of work in the end. But it did work in the end. Alright, pop the key in. I don't know what I did last time though. Right, that's now on. Make sure the pantograph is up as well. Let's quickly pop it down and put it back up. Yeah, come on. Yeah. yeah you're down. Right, pop that up. Uh what did I do last time? Oh, doors, make sure they're all shut. Right, there you go, that's all of them locked. Last time, did I put it into there? There might be a certain thing. Let's put it into there. We didn't completely put it to zero then. Screens are still on. That, that's good. I think this, uh, yeah. I think last time we accidentally put it into sort of fully off. This time we sort of put it on standby, I guess. Right, back we go to this panel here. Yeah, it's working now. You can hear the bells working. Nice, nice, that's nice. You've got to hold that, and then do the belt, and off we go. The last time that took me around 20 minutes <laughs> to do that bit. Right, we're coming out of the depot. But yeah, you've got, uh, I think, two or three depot sheds. I know, I think two of them are original, and one of them did get damaged in the war, so, yeah. I, I suppose they had to rebuild it. Right, here we are, let's uh, go a little bit further, and it's the full time whistle in a second, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and the game is, no not yet, no, no. a little bit more forward, now blow the whistle, no he's not doing the whistle, there we go, full time, full time, drive up to the shunting worker, so now we need to go back. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the key out and we're going to go to the other side. We'll keep that open for now as we will need that again. Alright, so now we need to work out how to operate this side. Which it took me a little while before to get it going. Let's sit down. Yep, 
Yeah, because at the moment it's not in fully, so. Shall we go if we do it now? No, it doesn't like that. Uh, pop back to number two, and then we have to have this one, I think, in that. I think. Yes, there we go. See, before that took me a lot of time to do, because I had to work it all out. <laughs> Off we go. But yeah, obviously, big thanks to uh, Aerosoft for providing us a key for the DLC. Obviously, much appreciated. But yeah, you can pick this up in your store, well, in the store yourself. Uh, now, pretty much. But it's quite exciting for Tramsim, because there also is Tramsim, Tramsim Munich coming soon as well. Obviously, you might have seen on Steam, there has been an update, so it's called Tramsim Vienna. But yeah, Tramsim Munich's going to be coming as well soon, which will be cool to see. And I'm sure we'll pick that up as well. Right, here we are. There's the guy. Hello, mate. See, I've only actually ever been on a tram once. Park the car in Hall 1, Track 8. Shall I get the switches set for you? Yes, you probably want to do that. Okay, go ahead. My colleague will then blow the whistle Then, when the switch is free and you can push back. Okay, so we need to drive forward. So we'll call this guy... I don't know. Andy. Let's go to Andy. They've got to have a name, haven't they? Hello, Andy. Well, we're going over here. So yeah, whereabouts are we on the map, then? So I don't think there is actually any sort of map to look at on here. You know, no map in the pause screen. But I suppose we probably are fairly close to the main tram lines, as it's the depot. You're not going to have the depot really far away. And it's full time, full time. Right, so we need to go. Let's set that to Hartwood. So it was in that, wasn't it? It was in that. So we had it as A, which I guess was standby, I guess. Um, and let's go over to, uh, to the control panel. Which last time I made the mistake of going straight on, because I thought we were going straight round. And yeah, it didn't, it didn't like it. Now, do we not. Oh, we didn't take the key out, did we? Right, let's go and get the key. Let's head over here. Let's take the key out. There we go, got the key in my pocket. The golden key. And let's go back. See, so yeah, we need to reverse in. Which I thought last time we were going right round. Hey, it's all lit up. That's 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 good. That's good, it's a good sign. Right, off we go. So imagine actually drive. It's like it's like the DLR, isn't it? In uh, in London, you think it's going to drive itself? Well, just to pretend this is the DLR, and then they've got a blooming control panel. Remember, I was on the um, DLR before, right at the front of the train, and then all of a sudden they were like, right, we need to we need to drive it. And I was just thinking, you need to drive it. <laughs> it's a blooming driveless railway. And then there, they opened this little box up, and there was a panel like this there. Which was quite unfortunate because I was right at the uh, front as well. So that's blooming tight round there. Right. Here we are. We made it. It's quite an old uh, area, isn't it? Or is this? Could be actually the newer one, actually. Got all the classic trams here as well. So we're we going right into there, or. Oh, is that a wash there? Park the train at the break point and start the tram wash. Uh, the break point. Uh, once as we go in, I guess, and then start up. Yeah. Oh, that looks cool. So this is some sort of wash. Which I suppose, yeah, it probably drags to the side of us. By oh, the looks of things. Break point. Is that this little cross here, or... The electric lines are in here. Lower the pantograph and close all doors. Uh, I need to go to the other side for that. And probably also need to start the thing up as well, as we didn't do that, did we? Right. Well, let's go and I suppose tra turn it on, as I don't think we did do that. I think we had to start, didn't we? Uh, 
Hmm. I clicked something. Oh well, let's just go and <laughs> let's go and close the doors. For it all ends in tears. Uh, doors. Let's sit back down. Right, all doors are shut. Lower the pantograph. Oh, now we go to the console. Well, how are we supposed to get out then? Right. We're going to have to open it up. Uh, e. There we go. And I suppose click the button here. There we go. So look at this. We know what we're doing. Clearly. Come to the console. Oh. Well, there we go. Little cutscene here. Let's watch. The tram is being cleaned. That's what we like to see, look. Nice and nice and shiny. So I'm guessing then we might go back to where we were, I guess. That's quite cool. So it sort of slides along the um, side. I don't know how the top gets cleaned or... I suppose it, it doesn't get cleaned, the top. I suppose it wouldn't really be too dirty though, would it, the top? Well, as dirty. That's quite cool that you've got the uh, side screens as well. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. We're probably going for it now. Right, well, that, that's that's the wash. That's quite cool. And now we've got a nice, clean tram. I think it actually does look nice as well. That you can see no dirt on it. Drive the train out of the hall to the shunting worker. That's pretty. Look, look at it. It actually does look cleaner. So it actually does well, make it clean. Because I think it was all dirty before, wasn't it? Obviously, it would make it cleaner. But uh, let's sit down. Uh, that needs to go in. Set that to that. Set that to VN. I don't know what that means. And it should allow us to go. Oh, oh no. Here we go. Oh yes. Pentagraph. Lovely. I'm actually quite proud. We actually did something. <laughs> we did it. Right off we go. Drive the train out of the train hall. And yeah, obviously the classic tram you see on the right there, that is, uh, that's free I believe actually. But the ultra low floor one, which is like the chunky, chunky one, uh, that one you have to pay for. But definitely worth it. Obviously more variety. Well that was brilliant, that was. I suppose, yeah, I suppose we take it back to where it was. Although you would think we might be taken out on the service, but... There we go. Park the car in Hall 2 Track 9. Shall I get the switches ready? Yeah, because I'll probably screw up. If you don't, you get this weird, like, hook, and then you can do the things. Yeah, well, forward we go again. Let's go. There's Andy the worker. Hello. I've got my sparkly tram now, mate. Right, round we go. Ah, oh, there's a bit of a car in the way. Actually, yeah, what happens if a car gets behind us? We're, we're, we're screwed, aren't we? Yeah, full time, full time. Right, and then we need to go out of here, so we'll put it into standby mode again, I guess. Take the key out. Um, and then run to the other side. Right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Pop the key in. Hold that down. And off we go. We've actually done it quite well. I was saying that probably will derail now. So this up we're going into that one now. It's a slightly different way. See ya Andy. Don't know, what's this guy called? That's a Mella. There's a Mella. See ya Mella. Oh, this is pretty tight around it. Look at this. Oh my god. There's the ultra low floor tram there. It's a really nice tram. That was awesome. Really enjoyed that. Oh, hats off to Aerosoft. What a brilliant DLC. And obviously there's more to that. There's uh, three scenarios. And I think uh, sort of in the timetable mode, you can obviously go to the depot as well. So, uh, brilliant. Perfect. Shut down the vehicle before you leave the hall. Oh, God. There 
go. Let's do that. And I'm ready to come to come to the other side. Cool. But yeah, they actually call trams trains. Um, I suppose they are sort of light rail, aren't they? Uh, you go to that. You go in there, and then we fully turn you off. Oh, I probably need to lower the pantograph as well. Oh yeah, you can be quiet. There we go. How do we get the screens off them? Um... Oh, great. Now the screens aren't going to go off. Oh, there we go. Nice. Right, let's uh, come out of there. Let's uh, do the doors. Look up the... Tra uh, hang on a second. Yeah, that's true. How are we going to get out? Yeah, that is very much true. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, that's a bit sneaky. You can open the door through there. Nice. Right, let's uh, get the doors. Oh, shunting complete. There we go. But that is going to be everyone for today's tram simulator video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, we'll find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Obviously, big thanks to Aerosoft for providing us a key. Uh, but yeah, you can go and get this um, DLC now. Obviously, Steam only. Um, well, PC only. I'll put a link for it in the, in the description. But thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.